This isn't a battle anymore. It's a motherfucking war. Hello, welcome to another episode of Hey, It's Those Guys Game of the Week. I am Nick Silviano, and this is... Connor Jagger. Yeah, that's Connor Jagger. Wow, my nose is itchy. He loves itchy. <laughs> anyway, uh, this week's game is... Shadows of the Damned for the PlayStation. <laughs> Shadows of the Damned. Damn. That's actually pretty funny. Shadows of the Damned for the PS3 and Xbox 360. Now, the uh, overall point of Shadows of the Damned is you are, or you play the role as, or you help as, I don't know, you are Garcia Hotspur, uh, Mexican <laughs> Demon Hunter. Hmm, I wonder where they got the uh, demon hunter idea from. Yeah, he's kind of like, a, I guess his primary job is he's a demon hunter. He's um, got an accent, a uh, Spanish accent, so I'm guessing he's Mexican. I don't know. Maybe but anyway. Dante, maybe the Dante show have met this guy. But hey. this, this is the guy that if they're going to reboot Dante, they should have made him look like this guy. So anyway. Uh, the problem games is Demon Hunter, so eventually, like, the head demon from hell, or whatever, gets really pissed at him. And six eyes. And decides, yeah, and six eyes, and decides, uh, named Fleming, decides, well, fuck you, I'm gonna kill your girlfriend and steal her. And, well, he does that. So, basically, he falls into hell, and Garcia follows him into hell with his trusty sidekick, Johnson, a, uh... A skull on a stick. Disembodied demon skull, which can transform into many, th many things. Like a guns, gun, a, a torch, motorcycle. a motorcycle, all that good shit. So basically, yeah, you go in there, and he starts his journey, or his personal road movie, as he calls it, to go and save his girlfriend, who, after the course of the game, the poor woman's getting killed over and over and over. So you're saying this is like something through time? Hmm. Nothing like that. It's just his journey to save his dead and continually to die girlfriend. This is what happens. Now, the significance about this game is... Paradox. Whatever. The thing about this game is it's created, It's uh, got three very significant creators. One being Suda51, who is uh, responsible for one of my personal favorite game series, No More Heroes. No More Heroes series. So yeah, basically you got uh, No More Heroes, and you got... Um, what the hell's the other guy's name? Uh, his name's on the back, I think. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Um, the uh, from uh, Nightmare Team of Suda Fifty One, Shinji Mikami, who was responsible for Resident Evil Four, and Akira Yamayoko. I'm tired. I'm really terrible at saying uh, Japanese names. Who it did the sound composing music for? Uh, for none other than the Sorry. Silent Hill series. So basically, you got No More Heroes plus Resident Evil. Plus Siren Hill equals this game of just pure awesomeness and dick jokes. Yeah. It's not a game for people. It's not, it's, there's a reason it's rated for Mature this time. A lot of... It's like Resident Evil 5 with the... Not, a lot of sexual innuendo and stuff like that. But other than that, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty good game. The story's pretty. The story and the characters are funny. You know, it's got a lot of... Um, one of the main... My main gripe with the game is the aiming. Because it sucks. Now, what is the name of the handgun the guy has? Well, the name is... It's got three different names. There's Boner. <laughs> and then there's the Teether. And then there is... Um, the Skull Cushioner or something like that. You know what I find really weird about the story of this game? Is like, they're in hell. And there are things in hell that are considered illegal. Like dick jokes? No. Like, uh, guns and teeth. I guess this guy plays against the rules. So, basically, that's not the point. The point is you're in hell and there are illegal things in hell. It makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I thought if you're in hell, a legal thing would be, like, church. <laughs> that was random. I thought maybe church? Gun, I thought maybe guns and alcohol. Alcohol actually is legal. It's, it's hell from the game. Would be, um, anything goes. But anyway, yeah, um, good humor. Fun characters. Interesting gameplay, shitty ass aiming. I mean, I'm like trying to shoot at things. It's slow. There are things right in front of me. I hit the, I shoot them, and they just like go right by. And it's like, it's like the the laser sight has to be directly on the enemy. If you're just aiming at his side, 
chances are they're going to be. It has to be it. accurate, and it's like you have to be to. aiming straight for the middle. And don't forget so, the boss battles. Some of them are really cryptic as hell. Some of the boss battles are just a uh, thing. Seem to I don't know cryptic. They're, they're, as hell. they're high level. It's a good game. I guess, like, you know, you just got to get used to it. I guess eventually once you figure out how to do the boss battles, it's a little easier, but... Like I said, not all boss battles will tell you what to do. Yeah, but the aiming just really holds you back. But other than that, good game. I give it an approval. I give it an approval. So there you go. Shadows of Dam for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, if you have either system. Check this game out, especially if you play any of the games I mentioned in the series. Um, any other Basically, games I mentioned. don't take our word for it. You play it yourself. See what you think. It is awesome, and you need to give it a try. Just try to look past the aiming. All right, it's been another episode of Hey, It's Those Guys Game of the Week. We will see you, know, I'll see you next week. I don't feel like doing this. Just warn me if I have to fuck a horse to unlock a door. <laughs>